Hey guys, my name is Greg, and this is my first video. I am beginning a weight loss journey that I have well, probably technically started years ago, um, and it's been a constant struggle. And I'm hoping that this is a turning point for me. Um, quick background on myself: I am 30 years old. I have a wife and four kids. Uh, they were one, three, five, and seven, and I have been overweight all my life. Um, I've tried some different diets and things like that, and just didn't stick with anything. Um, I said I came close one time when we bought our first house uh, around five, six, five years, five years ago or so, and. Um, we bought that house, it was a foreclosure, and it uh, wasn't in too bad of shape, but I did quite a bit of work on it before uh, we moved in uh, with my dad. So about a month or so, I would get off work and go work on the house, and it was just a lot of physical labor. And um, I didn't really change my eating habits at that point in time. I didn't really put much other effort into it. Um, before that, I had been seeing a personal trainer maybe like twice a week for 30 minutes, um, but I still didn't have my eating under control. And so, um, all the physical labor, though, it really almost didn't matter what I ate. I lost about um, 45, 50 pounds um, in that month alone just from doing all the work. And I didn't really put much thought into it until recently. Um, uh, and probably a few weeks ago, uh, Facebook had popped up this reminder with a photo from me from... Uh, five years ago and was like you know, you know you took this picture five years ago and so I looked at it and I'm like you know I don't take pictures like that of myself and it made me really think back to, to how good it felt at that point in time um, and you know another fact about that is for my job at that point in time we had a yearly um, kind of like a physical where they really just took some blood and checked uh, various our uh, various important numbers uh, cholesterol, triglyceride, all that good stuff and the previous year my numbers were bad and I was probably around um, 290 or so and the after I had finished working on the house is when we had our, our next one, it was a year after that and um, all my numbers came out perfect um, I was about 235 at that point Oh, so I still was uh, overweight, but um, it had got, I was much healthier. And, you know, I don't know what I, why I let myself go again. Um, I mean, there's probably plenty of reasons. Um, the point is, uh, due to some wanting to make a change for a while now, and due to some other motivators, um, I am ready to do a life change. Um, you know, it's, I think about my kids and being there for them, and I know that even though I avoid the doctors, I don't get any news, and I might not feel anything right at this point in time, um, I know that my weight is affecting my health, and I, I have to come to terms with that, and it's time for me to get healthy. Um, so, I've tried different traditional diets, Atkins, all that good stuff, I mean, some stuff worked, some stuff didn't. For me, though, it's not sustainable. Um, so, if you're going to follow along with me, basically what I'm trying to do is um, change my eating habits. But I'm acknowledging up front that there's going to be some times that I fail. And the things I need to do different this time is to actually push through it and, and keep working instead of, you know, a continuous failure. So, my goal is to change my eating habits. Uh, it's not going to be perfect. You're not going to all of a sudden eat all vegetables and uh, lean meats and all that good stuff right away. Um, but I can drastically cut down on my quantity and I can drastically change a lot of the things I do eat. And there's a lot of things that, you know, I just need to let go of. Um, so that's kind of the first part of it. And I'll probably talk about on my videos what I've been eating and how it's been going and then another part of it is exercise so I'm kind of one of those people I kind of just despise exercise um, I don't ever remember getting any enjoyment out of it 
Um, maybe it'll be different this time around. Um, I'm definitely not one that likes going to the gym. So uh, I, I was gonna go ahead and purchase a gym membership, but um, I actually had woke up in the middle of the night and couldn't get back to sleep, so I, was, I had just flip, flipping around, surfing the internet a little bit, and um, uh, I ended up coming across this Dr. Pompa and watched some of his videos and looked at his website and some stuff he was saying made a lot of sense um so basically what he recommends is uh training in bursts and you're not going to train much you're not going to do as much exercise you're actually going to limit yourself to probably about 10 to 15 minute sessions um every other day so the one I want to start with, there's really kind of two ways he was doing it. One was using like utilizing treadmill, go as fast as you can for 30, 60 seconds. You max out your heart rate and um, get to the point where you know you're breathing heavy. You have to stop, catch your breath, for two, three minutes, then go at it again. And so you do that three to four times. Um, since I'm kind of new to it, I'm going to go for probably four to five times just to make sure I'm doing it right and getting the intensity I need. Um, the other one he sh was showing, which is one I'm going to start doing um, today, is um, just basically you can do the same bursts, but I'm going to use dumbbells and it's essentially going to be a squat all the way up, stand up, arms above your head. So essentially work all the important muscles. So it's going to work core, um, glutes, legs, biceps, triceps, um, all this stuff. And it's going to so it's going to incorporate resistive training along with the burst training. So my hope is to get some definition and at the same time um, trigger my metabolism to keep burning. So the idea behind this training is that when you do these intense workouts, just like pretty much every other workout, you're first going to burn off sugar. And But the difference is with the burst workouts is it kicks your body's metabolism up and it will, it was supposed to help me um, get into a fat burning mode for the next 24, 36 hours. So that is kind of how I'm going to start. And uh, so I don't have any written out plan, long drawn out thing. I'm, I'm not trying to, you know, push myself to do something that I know is going to be hard to do. What I'm trying to do is make some lifestyle adjustments at this point in time. And for me, you know, being 30, 30 years old, over in all my life, um, it's been hard to do this for myself. So, you know, I know people say you got to do it for yourself, do it for yourself. Um, I want this for myself, and I want this for my kids, um, but there's been, you know, some other events recently that are probably giving me the more motivation to kick start it, and I think the kick jump is just, you know, what I need, and I'm pretty sure once I get started, it's, it's going to be, I think it's time I can be successful, um, I know I can be successful, so that is basically the start of my journey. Um, so, as with other weight loss videos, uh, I'm probably going to check in, uh, plan to do a weigh-in every f five to seven days, most likely about seven days, and see what, how my progress is going. Um, I'm also going to try to keep up with videos as much as I can, go over my daily eating habits. Um, that's A lot of this is for myself. Um, I mean, whoever views this, if you get anything out of it, that's great. Um, but. You know, this is something for me to step out of my comfort zone and to help me in my journey um, is to be able to look at myself and, and really talk to myself and see what I'm doing. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and wait here in a few minutes. Um, so, basically know what the starting point is and, and we're going to go from there. Like I said, I'm going to start my first workout today. So, my next one will be Friday. And every other day, you know, continuing from that. In terms of eating habits, um, I, my plan is to try to eat, you know, my three solid meals a day with, you know, decent snacks in between. Um, and since I'm doing the resistive training, you know, trying to get more protein, I'm trying to reduce the, the bad carbs and um, get rid of refined sugars and go from there. Um, I will say I'm not a fan of water and stuff, so I mean, I, I like tea with uh, sucralose, so, so uh, again, just kind of going through this thing, we'll see how it goes, see what works, what doesn't work, if I'm getting stuck, then I'll maybe cut some stuff out there, it might be affecting me, um, or try something different, um, 
there that the whole goal here is to get on into decline and lose the weight so I guess I'm gonna go ahead and start off with you know basically my starting images um, and this is what I'm starting with so so try not to think about it sometimes but my stomach is definitely getting large um so this is my opener just go ahead and put it up and so this is what I'm starting with and this is what I'm trying to get rid of and trying to tone up hopefully tone up my arms my chest tighten things up and we'll see how things go so let's go ahead and do the weigh-in so this is going to be my starting weight for today um, January 13th 2016 and hopefully from here it's going to be downhill so let's see where I'm at should we zero it out So 345. So I will say, you know, this is mid midday, or I'm sorry, basically afternoon, and I'll have eaten and been going out through my day. Probably my future weight has will be in the morning. Um, but this is my starting point, and you know, if you join me along for my journey, that's great. Uh, if you want to chat, hit me up, and thanks, and I'll see you next time.